Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm back with another auto audio video. Uh, but today I've got a Dodge Ram. I believe it's like 2005 or 2006. Uh, this customer wanted to upgrade from a single den to a double den, which if you know anything about these trucks, the double dens are are hard to fit, pretty much. So uh, I'll show you what we got. Okay, as you can see, we've got a Pioneer single den in here right now. Uh, this customer wanted to upgrade from this single den to a double den. He also asked me if I could install the lights that go in, uh, like behind the AC controls. I've never done that before, but since I'll have it open, I'll take a look at it and see if I can. Um, but he asked me if I could do that. Also, before he, he was going to install some speakers, but uh, he said, you know, the speakers in it are probably good. So the connections probably just aren't that great because they just kind of go in and out. So he asked me if I would just uh, check those and see if they're still, you know, good and functioning and see if I can fix any that look a little loose and stuff like that. As you can see, I've got my, my double den, you can see the big opening, my double den uh, dash kit along with the antenna adapter, wiring harness. Um, here is the radio. I believe it's just a, an Amazon double den top never installed one of these i've always installed like a name brand top just because i know their products are always going to be good so i've never installed one of these so we'll see what it's like and then this little box is the bulbs that will be behind those ac controls so uh i believe i'm gonna just start putting in the radio and then we'll dig into the speakers after that so i got the whole dash somewhat apart right now but i've got my ac controls here um i'm gonna flip it over here and I want to say these three little things right here are those bulbs uh, that he wanted replaced. Uh, but I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure and look up a video and just double check myself because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But I just want to make sure. Okay, so I got the panel here. Um, set that right like that. So I had it like this. You know, there's two screws right here. That is the bulbs right there. But uh, it's probably a little hard to get it out just because they're so recessed down in there. So I actually just took this panel off. Uh, there's two screws there and there. And then it just, there's clips, as you can see right there, on the side where you need to get them out. You see those holes? Um, but the a knob comes off too, because it goes on the front here. Uh, so I'll need to put that back on. But pretty much the, these three are the bulbs. So you just take it right like this. It's a little hard to do one-handed. But, uh. You just kind of turn it, you know, kind of like if you've ever replaced headlight bulbs, kind of like that. Just kind of turn it right like that, pull it out, and there she is. So I'm going to work on getting the rest of the two out and then replace them, and then we'll be good to go on that. All right, so I've got these two in. They, they're in there. Um, but this, these are actually LEDs. I didn't know he bought LEDs to see. So you can see that versus, you know, the regular bulb here. That's pretty cool. But, um, so these two are in. It's actually kind of tough. I thought I could just like grab it like this because this one isn't in, as you can tell. Um, I thought you could just kind of grab it and turn it. But actually what I, what I did, if you can see that, there's two little holes that's right there. I actually just stuck my pliers in those holes and just turned it like that. And that was the easiest way to do it. Um, so. This is just about ready. I just need to get that one in and then pop everything back together. And then it's good to go. Okay, so I got it all back together here. I'm gonna plug it in, uh, turn the truck on, turn the lights on, and just make sure she works. Um, so here we go. Yep, and there we go. They're kind of blue looking. Uh, on camera, they don't look as blue, but uh, actually in person, they are fairly blue. But uh, yeah, there we go. Obviously, you just got the four screws on this. Um, but I did want to show this, if I can pull it out here, as you can see, whoever installed this, I believe the customer did, uh, I had just kind of taped them all together. I don't, I don't know if that picks up very well because it's very dark, but literally all the wires are just kind of taped together. Uh, so yeah, uh. After I get done, it's going to be a lot cleaner and it'll look a lot better than that. So uh, let's get started. I got everything unboxed. I'll show you what you get. 
so uh, obviously we got like owner's manual that is the part number uh, if anybody is interested in this head unit here's the head unit looks pretty good uh, it's, it's a lot thinner than I than I imagined because uh, a lot of head like double dent head units are like this big but uh, it's a little smaller um, we have looks like all of our wiring stuff here on the back uh, they even gave you a little pry tool with this one your surround looks like we got the wiring harness and a remote uh, this is the thing that will hold into that uh, and then there's also a backup camera I totally forgot he wanted a backup camera installed because I didn't see a separate one so uh, I guess the backup camera comes in the kit we'll get that installed um, so we'll I'll probably do this right now because this will be the most time-consuming and like I said in previous videos I like to do the most time-consuming thing first uh, just to get it over and out of the way so we're gonna start doing this first uh, first before we start the radio okay so I got the backup camera mounted right here um, I either wanted to go underneath but there wasn't really a great place to put it and I didn't want the, the hitch here to block any viewing and I also wanted to put it right here but when I put the tailgate down it would have just smacked it so uh, put it right there I think it's a pretty good location um, but I've got the wire down here so uh, I'll tell you a little bit about how these backup cameras work so um, you know one wire comes out of the camera into here uh, then you'll have a separate wire so you just literally plug yellow red and then you'll get to here just down from that so this this black and black and red wire uh, your red wire will need to go into like your reverse uh, input so you know you can wire it into the reverse lights and your tail lights or trucks are fairly easy because I'm going to do it into uh, the trailer harness here uh, because that makes it super super easy um, so yeah I'm either going to do it into this harness or the one up there which goes into here this this one here so uh, and then your black one just needs to go into a ground or uh, to the body and then uh, then this will go your other end will go this will go into the back of the radio into the the camera output I believe uh, so I'm not sure what this red wire is um, every time I've installed a backup camera I've never put this on anything so I'm not a hundred percent what that is even for so yeah uh, I'm gonna pretty much wire these two together then I'll run my, my wires forward okay I went ahead and installed here as you can see I already showed you this but there's a the camera I've got the wires ran uh, they're wired into this reverse bulb I was gonna wire it into the trailer hitch like I said but the wires were very hard to get to so I figured might as well just pop this off and just wire it into that reverse so I wired it into reverse and I've got it ran all the way to the dash where I've got it hanging out right here so uh, we're ready just to go ahead and wire up the radio so I should get a time lapse of all of that got her all wired together here um you know i'm not i don't i don't want to you know talk crap about products and stuff but uh you can tell quality when you like purchase something like this versus a name brand because um there's a couple typos in here it's either typos or 
If they've done something wrong, I don't, I don't know. We'll figure out once I get this thing in. Um, because I don't know if I can pick that up. The green wires right there, it says front right positive, right? Well, the gray wire right above that says front right positive also. Uh, green is supposed to be left rear positive. So uh, I'm hoping that's just a typo and they didn't screw something up or something. I don't know. But uh, green and black ref rear left negative is actually right. So I'm assuming that's right. But, um, you know, that's just some things that you have to just figure out. And I've been doing this a while, so I know that. But it's all wired together. I'm actually just going to throw it up there and just plug it in. Make sure everything's good to go because there is some, you know, custom stuff I got to do to get this thing in there. So here we go. Okay, got it plugged up, factory harness to, you know, radio harness. Set this down right here and turn the key. Moment of truth. There she is. It's a very good looking screen. And I hear sounds, so she works. I'm gonna walk around and just make sure her speakers work, but this is a very good looking screen. Um, but she sounds good, works good. We'll be back. Okay, like I said, there is some custom stuff that you have to do in order to make this fit. So right here's our original dash panel. Now, as you can see, like this was the little storage pocket, AC controls, and then the radio. As you can see, this is not going to fit a doubled in radio. So we actually have to pry this section out from these, you know, little like plastic welds and stuff so that we can put this insert in, you know, obviously that will fit a doubled in. So that's one of the first things we have to do with this. The second thing is, is since the factory, the factory radio and these are actually like a den and a half big so you can't fit a double den but what that means is I'm sure the lighting is absolutely horrible let me let me turn my light on here so as you can see this this hole right here is not going to be big enough for our double den so we actually have to cut out this little shelf portion right here in order to make it fit now, I hate cutting stuff and, you know, stuff like that, but this isn't too bad. I've got the tools to do it, so uh, we're going to get to cutting this off. And pretty much once this is, pretty much this is the hardest part of the whole thing, is getting this out. So, uh, I'm going to get started on that, and hopefully it goes nice and smoothly. Alright, I have to say, this was a pain in the butt to do. Trying to drill out those plastic welds, you know, right there. Super hard to do. And uh, said you needed a quarter inch drill bit in order to get those out. Uh, you know, mine didn't turn out the greatest. Uh, but I can smooth that out just in case if the new part doesn't fit. But uh, that's out. So now I'm going to cut the dash little shelf out. So here we go. All right, the hardest part of this whole thing is done. So this was the shelf that fit in there like that. Uh, I use a, uh, so I'm at, I'm at our tent shop. Our neighbor over next to us, he runs a taxidermy shop. Um, he had a saw that, it's a Ryobi something, but it, you can turn the blade any way you want. And literally, I, I mean, it just sliced right through it. It was freaking perfect. I'm so glad he had that. But, uh, so that's all cut. I'm actually ready to throw this in. Cause let me get out here and show you this. I've got the the double den trim piece here on, so this is ready to go in. Uh, I believe. I think I have to throw on some uh, something on the back side here of these little weld pieces that, or at least that used to be there, so that this will stay in place very good. So. Uh, I'm gonna do that and get ready. Okay, gonna give an update here. Uh, I've got the little side brackets mounted on the on the new stereo, uh, so that's good to go. Uh, you know, just line it up. I'm sure I'll probably have to do some adjusting on this once I get it in there, but 
Let's go in here. So in here, um, I believe I tested I tested the reverse with uh, with just this, and it seemed like it didn't like register that it was in reverse or something. So I'm assuming this goes in the reverse. I don't know if you can see that or not. It says reverse in. So I'm guessing that is just for the input. So we'll figure that out. Hopefully that works. Um, and then I've got that antenna adapter here. So I'm pretty much ready to throw it in. So uh, I'm gonna get it bolted in and, and plugged in and everything and see if we're good to go. Okay, I've got everything wired up. I had to switch my GoPro, my camera died. But um, I'm getting a little issue on this reverse bulb and it's not because of anything that I've done. I think the factory harness ground wire is very loose because sometimes it'll it won't work. Sometimes the light will be very dim and sometimes it'll be bright like it's supposed to be. When the bulb is bright like it's supposed to be, the, the backup camera works, fly, works fine and perfect. But when it's uh, dim or off, the backup camera will not turn on. And I believe it's just because the ground wire on that factory harness is loose, messed up somehow. Uh, so right now I've got it pinned in a certain way in there to where it'll always be bright. But again, if you drive it and hit a bump or something, it may come loose or something. But uh, I just wanted to give you an update on that. Everything else works great. Uh, he wanted me to check his connections on his speakers, like I said previously. Um, so I'm gonna throw the radio in and everything, so you'll get to see that when, I, when I'm done. And then I'll go through and check his speaker. Okay, I'm on my phone now, because the GoPro's been a pain in the butt. But, uh, here is the radio. I know my fingerprints are probably all over it. As you can see, put the key in, turn her on. She looks pretty good, sounds pretty good. But, uh, She's in, everything's back together, looking nice. I'll turn it off here. Give you an update of where I'm at here. So I've already taken the door panels off and checked these speakers because he wanted me to just check the connections. Um, if you remember previously, the radio was just uh, like, you know, like tied together and then taped. That's how all the speakers were too. So I just uh, put some connectors on and bolted it back in. Uh, these speakers were working. The back door was the only one that doesn't that didn't work. So um, I'm actually I'm done on both these doors. Now I come over here. I've got both off. Um, as you can see, I put some new connectors on, and then for some reason this speaker still is not working after I did this. And uh, so I'm pretty much I'm gonna take this one out and then reconnect it and then put plug in that speaker just to see if it's that speaker or if it's something in this connection. So I'll give you an update here in a second. Okay, so I took that speaker after I did my wiring and stuff, plugged it in there and the speaker works. So there is something that is not connected right here or something that is messed up down through here somewhere. So I got some investigating to do. I got it back in, did some investigating, and I, I can't figure it out. Um, it's probably over my head. Um, it's probably something to do with speaker wiring from this point to the head unit, because it's nothing with the head unit, because I popped that off and looked. It's nothing with that. Uh, those have good connections. This has good connection. Um, I even redid the connections. I even flipped them to see if I had them backwards, and nothing. So. I know the speaker works, the speaker does work. So I'm just gonna let the customer know it's probably something in between the radio and the speaker, but I'm not 100%. So I'm gonna throw this back together and then I will show you the end product. And here's the end product here. Got the new head unit, working nice. All speakers are rewired properly. Along with the backup camera. So, backup camera works every now and then, and this rear door speaker still doesn't work. 
but I believe that's just something that has gone wrong. It's not on my end. Um, I did everything I could to try to figure this out. And so, yeah, but I appreciate you guys watching uh, this install. This install didn't take too long. Uh, I knew it was gonna be time consuming, but uh, she's all done and ready to go. So I'm just gonna wait on the customer to get here and show him everything that was done.